Well, hello everyone, Smithy here, and welcome to another animal-related mod showcase. And today, in my hand, uh, you might have seen it in my last episode of the uh, latest zoo uh, that I was building, that I used this new fantastic animal net. So I thought I'd better do a quick, mo a quick uh, review of it, and uh, all we're going to do is go through it and show you... Uh, what type of creatures they catch and which type of creatures they don't and there's a super special thing at the end uh, now one thing guys uh, depending on the animal mod that you use and i use 20 animal mods now in 1.12.2 this uh, animal net is also available in uh what minecraft 1.1 one four as well so it's really cool and you might have noticed uh, as i've got in my inventory i've got some other nets like we've got this uh, animal net here from zoo and wild animals mod which captures all the zoo and wild animals but it also captures something else i found as well which is really cool because these nets don't capture all the mods so prime example, uh, I'm going to show you the Erebus mod, uh, how to move creatures in Erebus. Now these do capture Erebus mod, uh, but they don't capture Jurassic Craft. Hmm, that's interesting. So dinosaurs. Uh, uh, this is a fishing net from Tropic Craft for fish. Uh, and this is a mist net from the bird watching mod. So you will find different uh, nets to capture different things. But this, this, this here, this animal net mod is superb so if i just show you while i'm here guys uh we'll see if we can just get these up on here so uh they're all dead cheap to make well apart from the higher ones so the idea is that it, different nets capture different uh animals like this one small animal net and you can see they're dead cheap to make uh a medium animal net uh there we go dead cheap to make again apart from these some slime balls if in survival, uh, big animal net, you need some diamonds uh, and uh, you obviously need some obsidian and iron to make that net. And then uh, the bit, that's the big one, isn't it? So this is a small mob net, so you can capture mobs as well. Now we'll go and see if we can go underground and, and find some mobs. Uh, but yeah, it captures mobs. And what you have to do, if it doesn't try, if it doesn't capture an animal uh, on on the animal nets you might find that the animals in certain mods will capture under the mob net so it's quite interesting uh, and a big mob net uh, that is very expensive diamonds uh, and ender pearls and you need to make this mob core and the mob core is quite cheap to make as you can see there uh, this one here is an NPC net so we can move villagers uh, so it might be a bit OP you don't have to put villagers in trains anymore to bring the villagers so you could find a villager if you're out walking in survival and find a villager and go I want to uh, I could do that but again it's not too expensive you just need a medium animal net for that make it up and the weird the thing at the end which has really caught my eye which is really OP guys is the uh, is the spawner fragmental and I'll tell you what to do with that afterwards. And that is really OP uh, right at the end. So there we go. Right. So where do we start? Yes, there's lots of things. So let's go hunting for some animals. Now, I'm in creative, so I can use these multiple times. But some of these nets have single use and some of them have uh, double use. Uh, and there we go. So let's just go down here. Now, I did say that the Zawa mod uh, has its own uh, has its own net. Uh, so, but can we use this on it? Yes, we can. Did you see that? Core to coconut crab. So you can actually use these on the Zawa. So we'll put that back and you see it broke. Uh, so that's a small. Let's go and search. Let's go and have a search. Now, uh, this, I use all these mods in my uh, zoo and wildlife park series. And this really is something I was looking for recently because I wanted to go. And you'll find we've got Dr. Zark's. Dr. Zark's uh, mod on here. And when we come across one of the Dr. Zark's uh, creatures, you'll be able to capture those as well, which is, this is why I was looking for it, rather than just capture babies and whatever. So we're just going to have a quick look around, guys. Uh, there's lots of creatures around, but not tens to many here. Suddenly we like come across more. Also, aha, what's this? Ah, koala. So that is from Zoom Wild Animals mod. I wonder how big that is. No, you need a bigger net. So it tells you if you can't catch. There we go. So we're going to put that back out there. There you go. A little koala from Zoom Wild Animals Mod. But you can use the Zoom net from Wild Animals Mod to do that as well. Right. Uh, we'll get into... Oh, witch, witch, witch. Now, how can we capture a witch? Do we think the small mob? Oh, yes, we got a witch. We got a witch. So we can bring the witch and we can put her over here. 
Uh, hey, now that could be really cool. Yeah, not happy for you either, but uh, it could be really cool. Right, uh, there's some more mobs around. And I've already parked some uh, different mobs out and about, guys, as well. So further up here, just to test them out. Uh, so let's see what else we have. Now, I found some lions and tigers. Uh, this is the exotic birds mod as well. So you can capture birds and stuff. Ah, ah, what's that? Oh, this is the uh, Animania mod, guys. So Animania mod. Now, let's see if this works on this. Let's see. Let's see. No, you need a bigger net. Yes, yeah, so it works on Animania, guys. So you can capture your different things as you're going around in... Uh, oh, there's some more stuff around here. And they're going to sleep. What have we got here, guys? we got Grizzly Bear from Zoo. Oh, they're all going to sleep. So let's just make it uh, time set day again and let them all wake up. Uh, but yeah, there's Zoo. There's Animania as well. Now, what I haven't got on this, uh, I need to change it, but I've better animals as well. I haven't just tested it on better animals. Maybe I'll just go and try this around. Right, so I've got some more creatures over here. I was looking for some of the... Uh, uh, Dr. Zark's uh, models, which were spawning all over the place before. Ah, let's go down here. Aha, yes, I know there's a lion around here somewhere. Now, Dr. Zark's uh, mod is a lion from Dr. Zark. Uh, it will work. Uh, you can't use custom mob spawner with the Zawa mod. But here we go. We have got a lion. What a cool lion. So we want to capture a cool lion. Do you think it's going to be this one? No, you need a bigger net. Do you think we need this one? No, you need a bigger net. Uh, what about this? Yes, we captured the lion. So, in terms of uh, mo creatures, again in survival mode. Oh, oh, what was that? What is that? I've never seen a. Oh, it's mo creatures. Wow, mo creatures creature. Oh, I wonder if I could use a small net on that. Oh yes, there you go. Small net on that. So mo creatures. Oh, this is mo creatures as well. I'm sure. I'm sure. Is that a little one? Nope. Oh, I hear a spider. It was a little one. Right, let's release all these out, guys. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, oh, the butterfly changed when you released it. Now, that's interesting, guys. All right, there we go. So some of the creatures. Right, let's go in here. Let's go in here. There's something in here, guys. Oh, it's going to be dark. It's going to be torch. Let me just uh, let me get some torches here. Yeah, so let's just see. I want to try some of these out. So torch. Where is it? Oh. Don't tell me we can't even... No, not. we'll find a bigger cave, guys, and get down there and see if we can capture some stuff. So, uh, yeah, we'll find a bigger cave. Let's go. Right, where do they go? So, oh, here, over here, did you see that flying? What was that? Oh, yes, this is... This is from the Zoo and Wild Animals mod. So that you can use the Zoo mod for that. So I'm looking for some other creatures. Uh, I need a big cave as well to go in, and then we'll head over to the Erebus mod. Uh, yeah, so Dr. Zarks. Now, the one thing about Dr. Zarks is when you've got it in survival and you come across a rare horse, uh, is that a small one, do we think? I think, that, is this the rare one here? This might, is this a rare one? Doesn't want to tell me. Right, so will it, will it be a small one? No. Bigger? No. Big net? Yes. So, there we go. So, you can capture horses and transport them. Uh, aha, that might be a good cave to go down. Let's try that. So, let's just get rid of that there. As usual, these gays. Oh, yeah, I can hear. Aha! Ah, oh, there's a, there's a. Oh, oh yeah. So we trying? Have we got any more? I'm pretty sad that we could. Ah. Oh, skeletons! Oh wow! Right. Let's see what we can mob. Oh, need to put a uh, so you can see it. Right. What do we capture? A small mob. Yes. So that captures the skeleton. Wow. Uh, so we know skeletons. Let's go back to this. So you could go into the nether uh, and capture. Oh, I wonder if you could capture. Uh, that's a good question. Right, let's just get out of here, guys. Uh, I wonder if you could go and capture stuff in the nether. We'll do that at the end. That's one thing we'll do at the end. Right, let's just release these into the... They'll burn, of course. Uh, there we go. Oh, it changed into a baby one. So be careful. Some of, that, some of the nets obviously change creatures. Into small ones. Right, where did I go over here, guys? Because let's go and find... Oh, Hippopotamus. That's from Zawa Mod. Right, over here. Oh! 
And I tried this. I was wondering because I've got I put oh oh there's the Erebus mod right. Uh, you can see the tarantula blood mother. So here we go. So this is uh, this needs rescuing now. I could use the Zawa mod. Uh, can I use this? No bigger net. You think? And I thought it might be too big. It's not too big. It captures the big creature. So let's just put it down here, guys. Uh, where is it? Right. So, Erebus mod, here we go. So, in here, I think I've got a centipede from the Erebus mod. Now, I was playing around with this. Oh, look at that. Komodo. Is that the Komodo dragon? Komodo dragon from Zoom Wild Animals log. Right. So, here we go. Put the centipede out. So, this was a centipede. Uh, and that's the big mother tarantula brew mother. So, let's just go to Erebus mod. And I need to remind me to do a creature showcase for this. Uh, fire Ant Soldier. Uh, and what else can we put in? That's a Trove Guardian. Now, oh, I tell you what, the big boss at the end. Zombie, no. Beetle, Honeypot, Overlord. So this, this is where limitation comes in. So we'll put in the Antlion Soldier. I love these. These are just fantastic, guys. Uh, and I'll put in the giant over here. Let's put it over here. Oh, another, another super Komodo dragon there. Oh, there's the... there's the. Uh, oh, we'll go and try those as well. Right, so if I put this down here, it is massive. Right, massive. So let's just get rid of that. Right, let's go and try this. So, uh, this one, small animal... As I said, you've got to try these out. So that works. So that captures that, okay? So that's good. Uh, this was a centipede. Did we use a small one for that? No, you need a bigger net for the centipede. It's probably because it's three blocks long. Let's try that. So that's the medium one, okay? So that works for that. So you've got to trial and error it. Uh, birds, uh, birds, birds, birds. Let me just capture you. Because I haven't seen one of you. Yes, there we go. So you can capture the birds like that. Okay, right. This one here. So... This is roughly about the biggest creature you can get. Uh, just won't do it. This is being, this is great because this is able to be captured by that. <sighs> yeah, so I can capture that. Oh, I wanted to show you some real spooky creatures as well. So we can put that around. So you can go and capture that in the Erebus, Erebus mod. So let me just go and show you. Uh, let's go and show this then. Uh, uh, Erebus. Right, these are well good, these. Where are they? Velvet Worms, Dragonfly, Black Widow. And the other spider is Lava Web Spider. All right, let's try these two. So this is like, these are so cool. I just love these. That's a, not a, that's a small one, a medium one. There's a big one. These are just fantastic, right? And let's put these in as well. Look at that! Giant ant lion. Spider. These are the big ones that come across, right? Spider's going to see which ones we can use for these. Okay. Right, so, uh, what's this? No, bigger net. No, bigger net. Hey! So I was able to capture that. Yes, that was lucky. Right, okay, let's just put them over here. Get rid of them. You happy? Go on, off you go. You got happy. Brilliant. Uh, of course, I'm showing loads of mobs here as well. It's just fun. Right, this is a spider. Let's see about you. No, you need a bigger net. So it's good. Oh, this needs a much bigger net. Now that's really unusual. There we go. Okay, so, uh, right, but there is an exception. So let's go on over and find. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Right, so let's go and bring that guardian out. Uh, Let's go back to that. So, E. So, that was... Well, which one was it? Can't remember now. It's the big antlion overall, overlord. So, this must be too big. That's what I'm going to tell you. So, it must be too big. Uh, because when, when you try... Look at the power of that. You wouldn't like to fight that. I have done. No. Need a bigger net. No, you need a bigger net. No, you need... No. This animal is too big and cannot be caught, okay? So let me just see. Count that. Right. So there's always a way. Let's just test. Let's just see if this will catch it. So this is... Yes. 
So, the Zoo and Wild Animals mod captures super big beasts. So, that's all right. That's all right. Yay! So, I'm well impressed. Okay, guys. Right. I wanted to... Whoa. wanted to show you... Uh, where was the birds? Over here. These are from Exotic Birds, guys. Bigger net. Big, ooh, bigger net. The peacocks need the big net. Not funny or what? Uh, let's just do that. I need that. So let's just get rid of that and get rid of that giant pea pad. That's a giant one. That's right. There you go. So we'll leave it there. Right. So then, so I'll leave the outline there. Then I tried Jurassic Craft. Uh, oh, that is that the that's uh, that's the uh, Dr. Zarks. So I'll give you a list of all the mods. Right. So we got a T-Rex and we got a Velociraptor guy. So these just don't work. If you use this, it doesn't work. No, nope, cannot be caught. So I went and tried. It's always good. So here we go. Hey, hey. Zoo and Wild Animals mod captures Jurassic Craft and Velociraptors. I just love that, guys. Oh, Ooh, it's killed the slime look. And it brings it back. That is so good. So I'm well happy with that. Yeah. Will it capture a T-Rex? Will it capture a T-Rex? Let's go and get the test. Bring the T-Rex out of this. This doesn't like it here. Let's see. <gasps> oh, yes. So, uh, Jurassic Craft, if you want to move your T-Rexes around in your builds and stuff, uh, you can do that. Pretty damn good. Uh, let's just come up here. Bring the T-Rex on the top of here, guys. So there we go. The Zawa mod captures the T-Rex in Jurassic Craft. Uh, so what else have we got? Right, uh, here is something clever. Right, so uh, let's just go and find it. We're going to a new area here. Of course, all the mods I've got on, uh, I will list them in the description uh, because it makes a, a, a lot of fun. Right, uh, let's go a bit over here. So... Let me, here's something you do. In fact, what we didn't do is, uh, we didn't go to the nether, did we? Oh, ha ha, chinchillas from Zoocraft Discoveries. Oh, can we use that? Let's have a look, chinchillas. Oh yes, it works. We can do Zoocraft zoo Discovery creatures as well. Absolutely brilliant, guys. And they, you can see they were quite rare. We haven't come across any zoo craft. And, but the chinchillas were the first thing. There's hedgehogs and all sorts. So it, for me, it's absolutely great because I go out and about and come across these animals and always want to capture them rather than kill them. Uh, so it's good fun. Right. Okay. Let's just go cut out a minute and let's just go to the nether. Oh, yeah, guys, if you've got the Erebus mod installed, you get in the nether. You can go to the uh, Erebus uh, world as well. Uh, use a special uh, portal to go there, uh, which has got lots more stuff. But obviously, I'm using different mods. So what I was looking for, well, well that was a pigman, wasn't it? That was an NPC, I call it. I love the upside down trees, don't you? <laughs> uh, right. So it's this NPC. Let's just do this a minute. Yes. Sorry, yeah, we got that. We got that. So it, it does that. Let's just do that. So let's just go and find a gas. Can we find a gas, do you think? Hmm, very good. Right, let's go and find a gas. So this is unusual to find a gas. That's why I couldn't find it. It was here. Very unusual. So I wonder whether we can actually capture. Maybe it's too big. No, can't capture it, can you? Oh, you need a bigger net. No, it's too big and cannot be caught. So, animal met from zoo. So I caught the ghast, caught the ghast uh, from the animal mod. That is superb. Oh, wow. Look at this. Right. OK, so let's just put the ghast back out. Uh, that is so cool. Uh, Zoo and Wild Animals mod doing that. There we go. You go and fly in the air. In the air. Right. OK, so, uh, yeah, and probably I haven't found that you can actually catch uh, Enderman. So it doesn't, you know, the, the, the Anonet will only work with certain creatures, and that's uh, the best thing. Oh, there's lots here. So uh, that's what I wanted to just show you, see if we can capture a ghast. Oh, I wanted to find a... Uh, let me go and see. You could actually probably catch her with the skeletons. Uh, tell you what, let me just go and find... See if I can find some with the skeletons and just test it out. 
So guys, found a wither skeleton and a blaze. This should be interesting to see. So, uh, no, no, no. So we need a bigger net. Oh, no, we need a bigger net. Oh yes. Yeah. So there we go. We caught the caught that. I wonder how big a blaze is. And let's have a look at this. Uh, can we capture that? We need a bigger net. There we go, a medium net for blazes. Now that could be really, really cool to do that. Uh, because you could go, oh, a, oh, of course, that's a manticore from uh, the, the <laughs> from mo creatures. I wonder if I can capture that. Come on. It's going dead fast, guys. It's in the dark. Did I get it? No. I didn't get it, did I? Uh... Yeah, I caught that as well. Let me just see. Magma cube. Oh, I got the manticore as well. So there we go. Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, I wanted it for zoo uh, for mo creatures, and it is. So that shows out. So one more mod to check out, guys. I'm just going to go and check. Uh, oh, look at that scorpion down there. I'm having that scorpion. Look, let's go and see. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, it's the Doctor's Ark scorpions. I love the fact that they spawn in this. I think that's going to be a big one. Yeah, there we go. A big one. Uh, right, let's go and try. I've got one more mod to try. Uh, and and that will be it. So it's a pretty damn effective mod. Uh, if you combine it with the other uh, the other net mod from uh, Zawa. Right, let's go back outside. So here we go, guys, with the uh, fossils mod. Just to see which way you can capture animals there. Should have called this the net mod rather than anything else. Do these work on fossils? Oh! Oh yes, they do. So they work on the fossils mod. So that is really cool. In fact, let me just uh, bring that out. That is impressive because I haven't tested it. You just see, uh, we didn't test it at all. So Cortigallimimus, right? How about this big one here? Let's have a look at this. Let's try the small one. Oh, it captures it. Right. Okay. So that's the Diplodocus, and we can move that. So it'd be very handy in that as well. Diplodocus. There we go, guys. Captured that. Uh, okay, uh, there was something else. Oh, yeah, just to prove it captured the normal normal Minecraft pigs in that. Uh, bigger net for a pig. There we go. We can move that. So that's really cool that it uses, uses that. Uh, one more thing I wanted to test out. We've got the NPCs over here because we didn't do the NPCs. So we should... Do oh, is this the special archaeologist? Yes. So I can capture some archaeologists. Now the archaeologist lives in this. Uh, I think it lives in here. Yes, it does. So we can capture archaeologists and, and take them away. What was that one there? Is that a zoo and uh, villager paleontologist as well? So we can capture them and then uh, br move them to where you want. But you need a village, of course. Let me just bring those out. Yeah, because they're going to go walking back. So one more thing, guys. Uh, one more thing, very interesting, which which I've really this is OP. So if I capture uh, capture this, which is a, a Pachycephalosaurus, right? Okay. So what we do is let me get a. In fact, I need to uh, da, 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 let's go to normal blocks. I need a crafting table. Uh, let's just get a crafting table. Oh no, I didn't want that, guys. Let's just go crafting. Crafting. Come on. Crafting table. Right, let's get a crafting table. Oh, look, there's the Spinosaurus. Now, this is quite funny, the Spinosauruses. This will be the closest to the new Spinosaurus that came out last week. Right, let's just put this down, guys. Right, okay. So, this last bit of the mod is a bit OP, uh, uh, to say the least. So if I go right down here to, let me just go into this. I think if I'm correct, it will be, we put the animal we want to spawn and we put the spawners. Uh, in fact, I need more of those. So I need fragments. So that's what I want. So I should have got those. So we need, we need quite a lot of these. And they don't, they, they, they're not that expensive to make. Uh, so let's just go into here. We put the animal that we want to make into a spawner. I wondered if this will work. Fossil Pachycephalosaurus spawner. And it's made a spawner. Oh my word. This could be so OP in designing worlds. It is a 
So you can't, the spawner doesn't work on uh, fossil and archaeology mod. So let me go, we're going to try a different one now then. So guys, been doing some practicing with this. The spawners only appear to work with the Minecraft creatures, which is which is a bit of fun. I'll have to go and look into that. But the Minecraft creatures, you have to wait a little bit, and then some more pigs will spawn. They're not they're not fast. They're not like loads and loads of spawning. But you can see the cows here have spawned up. And I just stood here and then came back and uh, more pigs and and cows. But the, there you go. There's another one just spawned without me looking. I think. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's the pig spawning. They, sp they spawn in ones and twos. Uh, also, it's really good for the villagers. So you can see these villagers have all spawned out of here. Yeah, so the villagers spawn. Uh, they're absolutely fine. Uh, the fossil and archaeology mod, they don't. I can't get them to spawn at all. No oh, more villagers are spawned. That's the only trouble, guys. You're messing around with these. Are, and the Zoom Wild Animals mod as well. Didn't I wasn't able to get the animals spawned. So quite a, quite a good uh, thing to use at the end. If you want to make uh, farms or XP grinders or something like that, you could have that. But there's other ways of doing it. So there we go. So, guys, I hope you really enjoyed look, uh, showing you this mod uh, and how useful it is. Uh, the, all the links are in the descriptions, guys. Information on which mods... Uh, work with which are there as well so i really hope you uh like this video and uh thank you very much indeed for watching and we'll see you next time for more showcases